deal. And, and, and congratulations to the Cowboys and the Steelers for providing a good game. And they said that it would be one. Well, where do we begin? I'll tell you where we begin. 29 years of Super Bowl history going in. And, of course, the last 11 have been all NFC. 11 for 11, and almost every one of them, except two, have been in the blowout capacity. That being said, as the Dallas Cowboys try to become the second franchise to win five Super Bowls ever, as did the Pittsburgh Steelers, which one would get there first? Would Dallas make it 12 in a row for the NFC? They're playing on an NFC field on the Aaron Mason Sun Devil Stadium. Here we go. Cowboys and Steelers and Deion Sanders and company singing along with the national anthem. Neil O'Donnell poised for his first Super Bowl start. Troy Aikman's been an MVP once before in the Super Bowl. Could he add another ring to the Dallas legacy? Pittsburgh looking to get their one for the thumb for the first one since the 70s. Emmett Smith, shades of his first carry of the regular season. This time Emmett runs 23 yards on the opening drive of the game. Then Aikman. And here's the, here's the hole, Tom. Look at it. Yeah, Greg Lloyd early on in this game handled by Larry Allen. Just couldn't get his body up under him. Good position, but he didn't finish it off defensively. Well, Lloyd upset us. It's a 3 nothing lead on a boneal field goal. And next series, Aikman to Deion Sanders. Little under the uh, coverage. Pretty good by Willie Williams, but Deion makes the catch. Then on third and nine, Jay Novacek immense in the first quarter and a half and five catches. Here's one inside the five. He just kept keeping drives alive for the first down. Next play, Aikman. He's wide open as Novacek. Touchdown, 10-0 Dallas, Joe. Well, watch this. See, picks are legal in Dallas, but nowhere else. Kendall Watkins, the tight end. One of the tight ends coming from the left. Knocks off Jerry Oslowski, and Novacek's wide open. I guess it's legal there, boom. Well, whatever it is, Bill Cower knows his defense has been handled two straight drives. It's 10-0. Third and eight for the Steelers, O'Donnell, Andre Hastings. He battled all day. And as a number 88 wearing a Steeler uniform should in a Super Bowl. But then, next play, Dermonte Dawson snaps it over O'Donnell's head. And it's a huge second and 22 situation. Helps stall a drive. And 10 0 Dallas, Aikman to Michael Irvin. Beats Cardinal Lake for the score. But don't ring up 17 0 offensive interference on Irvin. And the call was close, actually. It wasn't that definitive. He looked worse in plays against the Packers. But the Steelers get new life because Emmett. Move on past Levon Kirkland comes up short. They get a field goal instead of a touchdown. It's 13 0. Then Pittsburgh moving. O'Donnell to Ernie Mills. And Joe, look at the catch. Unbelievable. Watch him go up and extend himself all day long. He knows Scott Case is coming, still makes the play. Ron Earhart looking to take advantage. 17 seconds to go. And for the seventh straight game, the Steelers have scored inside the last 30 seconds at the end of the half. Yancey, big pen in front of Dion, and it's 13 to 7, Tom. Yeah, and Dion Sanders actually with pretty good position there. He planted himself inside, just couldn't get to the ball, and actually pushed Pitt, Big Ben to the football. Dallas had the better of the play in the first half at Pittsburgh within 6 13 7. Then Neil O'Donnell in the third quarter, backed up by Larry Brown. He could go all the way deep into territory inside the 20, picks up a couple extra yards. Joe, what happened on the play? What happens is you'll see both receivers run to the inside like they should on their blitz breakoff, but Neil O'Donnell just lets this one get high and wide and of course we know Larry Brown goes the other way and Neil knows he made a mistake and Dallas goes for the jugular Aikman buying some time Newton way out to, to give a good block outside the pocket down to the two to Irvin it's a first down Emmett watch the first surge the second well you can't see it from her the third surge was actually stopped already but it looked like that second surge he got right to the goal line touchdown it's 20 to 7 how about them Cowboys then still up 20 to 7. Rod Woodson back in action, looking to play Michael Irvin. Hey, what a comeback! A miraculously medical comeback for Irvin, uh, rather for Woodson, as he makes the play on Irvin. But it's 20 to 7. Pittsburgh down 13. He's got to make something happen. He didn't play the first two series. Pegram went nowhere, but Bam Morris had uh, played a big role for Pittsburgh. Look at him. Bam! Bam! Up to the midfield stripe. A 12-yard run sets up a Norm Johnson 46-yard field goal to make it 2010. Then watch Norm, the veteran, on the onside kick. Dallas forgets to cover it. Dion figures not only covers it, but advances it 10 yards. Car par! Here come the Steelers. The old special team play worked, huh? Yeah, the receiving team has to stay in place until the ball is actually kicked. You have to see it kicked. The Dallas Cowboys didn't. Dion figures recovers. It was a great play by Johnson. It was like a soccer pass. Big block by John L. Williams on the touchdown. Bam Morris scores it 20 to 17. And look at it again, Tommy. Here's the block by John L. on Godfrey Miles. Yeah, John L. outside, pins Miles to the inside, makes it an easy trot to the end zone for Bam Morris. So Troy Aikman says, wait a minute here. I haven't even been on the field. I've seen this team score 10 points. Under five minutes to play, they'll flush out of the pocket. Andre Hastings, oh, he can't hold on, despite the fact he caught 10 on the day. Then O'Donnell to the right. Is it the man again? Larry Brown. At the
to pick against Brett Favre two weeks ago. Had two big ones, only John L. prevents a touchdown, but it's inside the 10. And after mistakes like that, you're not going to prevent touchdowns when you're that deep. And so Larry Brown with a third and a fourth quarter pick, and then Emmett Smith with the first off right tackle for the 20 to 27 to 17 Dallas lead. An eventual final. Troy Aikman 10 and 1 now as a starter in the postseason. For Emmett Smith, certainly not a great day. 18 carries for 49 yards, but two touchdowns and another rank. Kevin Green, hey, they let their hair down to the Steelers. Much of the better of the play in the second half. But if you talk about someone that's come back from personal adversity <clears throat> to have three of the biggest interceptions in the, in the championship game in the Super Bowl you would want, it's Larry Brown. He's the MVP. Dallas has won Super Bowls with three different coaches. They now have five Super Bowl rings. The Cowboys beat the Steelers 27-17. Did I say five Super Bowl rings? There's only one player in over 1,600 that has played in all the Super Bowls that has five rings. That's Charles Haley. He's with our Leslie Visser. Leslie? You know, like I was telling guys, if, if I didn't think they would tease me, I, you know, I would break down and cry, man, because, you know, this is, this is a way to highlight my career. It's the best one ever. It's the best one ever. Every time, every year, it gets better. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it here last year, but as Mike said, this is like our home. And this is home. Home is where the heart is, baby. Hey, let me tell you something, man. I, I said it before the clock ran down. This story hadn't completed yet. This is not the last chapter. We still got some chapters to write. As long as I got guys like um, Emmett and Troy, <laughs> a coach like Barry, an owner like Jerry, that's willing to go out. When I say Jerry, go get a player. We need this player. He, he usually go out and get him. This, this, this chapter isn't over. Uh, as I told him at the half, you know, we played 23 and a half ball games. We had 30 minutes more to play and a lifetime to remember it. And now I do have that, a lifetime to remember that there are 29 that didn't make it. And there's one that stands alone, and that's the winner, and that's the Dallas Cowboys. This was probably the, the best uh, Super Bowl victory for us, you know, being, being though all the adversity we went through this year as a team and some as individuals. Uh, you know, this is this is a, a win. This is a special one right here. It was important to the players that Barry was vindicated. I think it's very important for the players. Uh, you know, uh, we took it upon ourselves to go out there and do, do the best that we can to help our coach win so he can pull the monkey off his back. It is a definite monkey off their back. But let, let's just show you some tell of the tape because it's going to go into what we're about to say. The Steelers outgained the Cowboys 310 to 254 only the second time in 30 Super Bowls that the losing team has outgamed the winner. Now, Look at the final two and a half quarters. Those 268 yards, or rather all of Dallas's yards except 70, came on their first three drives of the game. They had 70 yards for two and a half quarters, whereas Pittsburgh from mid-second quarter on had 268. So there is no question where this game was headed except for the final score. Now, 